if I'd start over today, would I do things differently? Interesting question. So I get a lot of email from designers just starting out, asking for advice, asking what would I do if I started today? No connections, no portfolio, whatever. What would I do? Would I do things differently from the path that I took? So that's an interesting question. And for those of you who don't know my path or currently where I am, so where I am right now is I'm full-time freelancing as a full-stack designer, work with startup companies. Um, I would say I'd rather, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well, I'm doing 300K this year, working alone in my home office. So it's pretty good. I get to balance my family life, get to control my own hours, don't have a boss. So that's, that's pretty amazing in a sense. And a lot of people are writing to me, yeah, I want that, would you do, what would you do to get to there? faster maybe and so the past that I did was I'm a designer for about 17 years now I do this for pay so started out freelancing at high school then I got a job like as a graphic designer from friend then I actually went to design school for four years and worked on the side in an advertising agency when I quit there I started working in a branding agency then I quit went to work at a startup and only after that I actually quit and became a freelancer so a lot of people are asking should I, you know, I'm advocating for getting a job before you go freelancing. But the truth is, it's not like I got a job because I thought it would be a good idea for freelancing. When I just started out, I didn't really want to be a freelancer. You know, I the actual sentence that I told myself was, I don't want to work from home with my underpants and not see anyone. I'd rather go to an office with fun people, which I can learn from. So I knew that I, I can learn a lot from sitting next to other people and it's just going to be uh, more fun. And only, you know, after doing that for many years where I realized, hey, I want to be more productive, which I am at home. I want to control my hours. So kind of my priorities change. So I think this is one key thing to remember. What you want today or what you, you see me and you think I want this, that might not what you want to to have when you're actually there or where you are along the way. So for a while there, I thought that maybe I want to run my own uh, agency for a while. I never thought, for example, that I would want to start a tech company, which is one thing that I did in recent years. So kind of things change. And sometimes when you get to where you are, you're like, hey, this is not as fun as I imagine. I actually want to do something else. So the things actually change and you have to really know who you are and, and yourself. Plus, I wasn't really goal oriented or had a clear direction when I just started out. This is something that more recently happened. Now I'm very, very focused. I have very clear goals for my business, for my financials. When I just started out, it was just about having fun as a designer, exploring creativity, doing projects that I enjoy doing. That was kind of my main focus. And again, my, as, as I learned and growth, I would always invested in myself. So I always took courses, always took online courses, regular course, courses, went to event, you know, invested in learning new skills. But those skills were always on the kind of craft of design skills. I never invested in business skills and it never really interested me until recently. And so I think one of the more clear things that I would do differently is start investing on the business aspect much earlier because I was such a bad negotiator, whether it's in my you know normal full-time job, jobs where I was, or when I just started out freelancing and becoming an independent, I was so bad and I didn't really invest in this. So what I do in the last two years where I invest heavily in acquiring business skills, learning about finance, negotiation, how business works, that really accelerated my my growth and my understanding but it this is my interest right now it wasn't my interest a few years ago so maybe that's something that i would do differently but again only if i'm focused on business money and, and goals like that when i was starting out i had different focuses as i said design craft other things which today maybe it's because i'm at a good where I'm good enough with those skills, so I invest in the skills that I don't have. Obviously, you need to have good enough skills at your core craft design, in my example. Otherwise, you can't succeed either in a job or as a freelancer. So you must acquire those skills first, but I would probably do that alongside with business skill skills. Now, the second thing that I would probably did do differently, and it kind of happened in my case 
randomly, like that I had mentors and worked with people that I want to work with, but I wasn't really intentional about this. And let me explain why. First of all, when, when I got started like 10 years ago, I didn't understand or know the concept of mentors. So I never thought about looking for a mentor or something like that. I just got a job and in my job, I had a boss who knew much more than me. And so I did my best to learn everything I can from him bring him value, create a relationship with him. And that worked really, really well for him. So I had a couple of mentors or people that I worked with. They never, they actually might never call themselves my mentors, just like my bosses, my past bosses. But actually, when you think about it, they were my mentors because I learned so much from them. But my point here is I wasn't intentional about this. If I would have to do this again today, I would actually be very deliberate and, and kind of research and list the things that I think are really the best that I really want to work with and then approach them directly, kind of like the Canva strategy that John, CEO of AJ and Smart, who was on my show, we discussed this concept of how you reach out to people kind of above you in the stack and try to bring them value, try to bring relate, um, you know, build a relationship with them. So that's probably something that I would do more intentional. I was more like freestyle in a sense that I got a cool opportunity. Somebody reached out to me. I did. Okay, I'll do this. It was much, much more inbound and, and like directed by the things that happened to me sometimes accidentally than by the things that I really wanted to and go in that direction. One example of where I kind of really directed myself was when I did my internship, the one I shared on, on yesterday's video. In that case, I've actually collected, I was very intentional about this, so I've collected bookmarks of studios, graphic design studios that I specifically want to intern at. For about a year, I collected about 80 bookmarks and then I started reaching out to each and every one of them. So at that point, I was starting to be directional and, and intentional about where I want to go, who I want to learn from. But I think that if I would be really much more focused on that along the years, probably I would get to um, gather the information faster because both craft information, as in how to be a good designer, and, and business information, how to run a good business, are most learnable by being next to other people who are very, very good at it. You know, reading books and is helpful, but having mentors or coach, like I'm, I, last year I've been working with a coach, something that I never did before. Probably if I would start working with a coach five years ago, I would be, you know, in a different situation or progress faster, but I wasn't doing so much work on myself as I am doing today. So I think those are Kind of the two i think it was two or three principles first of all know what you really want and what direction you want to be in even though consider that it might change when you get there or along the way or if your circumstances change so things change and you might have ended up i don't know wasted time or just going in the in the, a direction which is not the direction you wanted to go with but uh and that's the first thing and the second thing is you need to be intentional in reaching out and building relationship and in finding mentorship relationship and, and working with people that are going to be meaningful to your progress and where you want to head in life. Anyway, hope that was helpful. I will catch you guys tomorrow.